Hello and welcome to Untwisted Threads. This is the Uni Merino Mini from Universal Yarns. This 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon yarn features 50 colors. The colorway we chose is 109 earthenware, a warm rust clay. This 25 gram skein with 109 yards works up as a fingering weight yarn. The suggested gauge on 2.25 to 3.25 millimeter needles is 27 to 30 stitches per 4 inches or 10 centimeters. For our swatch, I will be using a 3 millimeter needle size. In today's video, we're going to review and score Uni Merino Mini from Universal Yarns using our five categories, which are availability, softness, traction, durability, and cost to help you decide if this is the best yarn for you in your next project. Let's get started. For availability, we give Uni Merino Mini a score of 5 out of 5. Based on the east coast of the US, this yarn from Universal Yarns is pretty accessible. Not only can you purchase it from their website, but also on Lovecrafts, webs, and a ton of other shops online in the US and Canada, which I really appreciate and love to see. It just makes me so much more eager to try out a yarn if it's more easily accessible. For softness, we give it a score of 4 out of 5. It is no secret that I love merino yarn, and this is a nice one. It feels like a nicer quality. Its high twist construction without any loose fibers gives this yarn an amazing stitch definition and a great option for children's garments. The 75% superwash merino content of this yarn, approximately a 15 to 25 micron count, is known for its next to skin softness. For comparison, I would say it's a little bit less soft than Drops Daisy and more soft than King Cole Luxury Fine Merino DK. I think it's pretty comparable to Cascade Heritage. No, it's not the softest merino I've ever felt, but it didn't disappoint me either. I am drawn to merino yarns and highly recommend them because of their softness, and I did enjoy working with this one. Merino yarns, especially superwash merino yarns, do have a tendency to stretch and grow when blocking and wearing. If you knit a swatch before starting a project, you can use this growth and bloom to your advantage. Because you won't have to knit as long of sleeves or a body because it will grow. Similar to other wools, merino yarn is a highly sought after fiber for the clothing industry because merino features characteristics like being odor resistant, breathable, and hypoallergenic. So not only would this beautifully soft merino yarn be nice and soft to wear, but it will also keep you warm. For traction, we give it a score of 5 out of 5. The construction or spin of this yarn didn't give me much worry. This yarn features a high twist with little to no stray fibers. Unlike more rustic wool, merino yarns like this one just glide so smoothly and in my opinion are a dream to work with. You won't have to worry about it slowing you down or sticking to your needles or other fibers. With that being said, if you are a beginner or aren't a big fan of working with softer yarns, I recommend trying this yarn with bamboo needles to give you a little bit of grip. But for me, I had a great experience when working with it. It would absolutely be a yarn to choose if you want to seamlessly knit while watching a movie because your needle or hook won't get caught on any loose fibers or twists of the yarn. For durability, we give it a score of 4 out of 5. Often softer yarns like Merino don't hold up well to wear and tear on their own and are prone to pilling. However, because this yarn has four plies of fiber spun together, that gives it an added amount of strength. The superwash treatment applied to this merino wool allows you to gently wash the yarn without worrying about it felting together, again making it ideal for children's garments. Like most sock yarns, nylon is often added with merino wool to give it more strength and durability, so it just adds that little bit of extra strength to your socks. Yes, as much as I rave and recommend merino yarns, they just aren't as much of a hardy or workhorse kind of fiber. But for something more special like baby garments or for ease of washing, I do recommend this merino. 
For cost, we give it a score of 3.5 out of 5. For being a 25 gram skein, you can expect to pay $5.50 US per skein. So if you're wanting to make a size medium sweater with this yarn, you're looking at a cost of approximately $66. So I would say this one is on the higher end of a mid-cost merino yarn. Overall, we give Uni Merino Mini a score of 4.3 out of 5. I have nothing to really complain about with this yarn. I think its miniature size skein is so cute, but also perfect for small color work projects. I also love the large color selection and how widely available it is. This color in particular is one of my favorites and I have noticed that it's pretty difficult for me to find. You can also purchase this yarn in larger 100 gram skeins for $14.50 which of course is a bonus. So I spent some time on Ravelry and wanted to share a few pattern recommendations hopefully to inspire you if you're wanting to use Uni Merino for a project of your own. The first pattern is the Blooming Lavender Socks by Stone Knits. It was created with the inspiration of lavender and their upright flower spikes and long green foliage. These socks are knit from the cuff down with a 1x1 one one rib, an eye of partridge heel flap and gusset, and has a section of color work on the leg and a small section before the toe decreases. This pattern uses the magic loop circular needle method but can easily be knit with DPNs. I think a colorwork pair of socks would really allow you to try out different colors that these many skeins of yarn have to offer. The next pattern is a free pattern called The Classic by East Bay's Trico. It is a straightforward raglan style sweater with a boxy silhouette. It incorporates short rows to raise the back of the neck, a longer body, and a split hem. The suggested yarn is a DK weight, but it recommends using a fingering weight like this one, held double with a lace weight like a mohair. I think its classic silhouette really makes this piece easily something you could reach for year after year. The last pattern is a new release called the Stella Quilt Cushion by Laura Penrose. The front of the cover is worked first, with each square being added to the previous by picking up stitches and or working German short rows. The back is then added in the same manner, with the final seam being sewn closed with a mattress stitch or a closure flap is added. The entire cover is worked flat. The suggested yarn is a DK weight or fingering weight held double. Depending on the gauge and thickness of the yarn that you use, each triangle only uses approximately 5 grams of yarn, so the many skeins of this yarn would allow you to get 5 triangles from the 25 grams. I really love how with this pattern, again, you could choose just two or multiple colors to create the star-shaped pattern. Have you used Universal Yarns Uni Merino yarn before? What yarn would you like for us to do a review on next? We would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's review, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.